this is a really good deal for a monochrome. There's a black paint. I bought a new... Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Overcast Singapore. Uh, even though it's overcast, it's pretty hot and humid, but coming from Australia where it was a little bit cold, uh, something you wouldn't expect from Australia, but it was true, it was rather cold. I'm embracing this warmth here, uh, it's beautiful. So today I have planned something special because last time when I came here a couple years ago, um, there was one thing that, that surprised me a lot and that was how many film shooters there are in this city. And if there's a lot of film shooters, there must be a lot of places that pretty much cater to these people. So there must be camera shops and shops that sell film. And today we're going to explore some of these. Because there's heaps of those, uh, we cannot see all of them. But there's some locations that I uh, marked on Google Maps and we will go there. But there's another place I want to go tomorrow because it's not open today. So I will split this video in uh, two days. But let's go to the first spot and to film in there, um, I will not use this camera because it's probably a little bit too big. So I will probably switch over to uh, the Osmo here and use that for filming inside the shop. So without further ado, Singapore film camera hunting tour. <laughs> let's go. Alright guys, we have arrived at the first uh, location and it's behind me here. It's the Peninsula Shopping Center and apparently there's a whole floor full of camera shops. And I'm here to sh check out three in particular. Uh, but I will show you while I'm on the inside and I've actually located them. So let's hop into the Peninsula Shopping Center and see what kind of film cameras and also maybe what kind of film stocks we can uh, find there and also how much it is. If, it's, if you can find any good deals, we'll see. All right, guys, we found our first camera shop. It's uh, this one here, the camera workshop. Unfortunately, it's closed. However, the good thing is they have prices on these items, so we can check it out. And keep in mind, these are um, Singapore dollars, so it's a little bit different. Uh, but I will put a, <clears throat> a conversion on some of the items so you get an idea. All right, let's see what we can find here. Already here we have a Leica M3, 2250, apparently with a light meter. The, the uh, Sumicron 28, the first one, it's uh, 3,250. And some nice work lenses, 14, uh, 15, f4.5. What the hell is this? This is a five centimeters f2. Not bad. And here we have a Mamiya C330, including the 105, 3.5, and that's 1,480. Man, it's way more than I paid for it. <laughs> and there's a Hasselblad, a 500cm. Uh, looks like that's the 82.8 uh, and it's 2,755. And a Pentax 6.7, as you can see, not bad. So I'd say it's already a good start, but uh, let's find the next shop. All right, guys, we found the next shop and they have uh, Rolleiflex Flex XL66 already sold. But what's more interesting, check this out, guys, there's some, um, there's Mao Zedong. So <laughs> I don't know how this is related to cameras, but yeah, and there's more. Man, that's wild. All right, let's uh, check out cameras and lenses. Nice Olympus LM2 with green leather, interesting. Uh, okay. The for the Hasselblad, uh, 
the 60 mil 5.6 for 899 roll eye cord it was 1388 but sold okay what else do we have here oh there's a rolly flex but it says sold so another one oh hexa r uh, af and it's all a golden one all sold that context man beautiful all right guys now we're here in uh at rice ball camera and they have a lot of uh a lot of leica gear and also um some interesting films so let's check it out all right <laughs> the white m3 is really nice. it's very interesting i've never seen a white one also another m3 double stroke m2 there's a black paint m2 is probably repaint i guess m6 Another M6, QT monochrome. It's actually a pretty good price, I think. Yeah, it's really good price. So this is a really good deal for a monochrome. The camera comes without box and charger and that's why it's a good deal. Guys, right, so it's a lot of stuff in here, so it's really. I just want to show you some because it's just too much. Otherwise, also we have some nice um, medium format cameras here. Five or three CXI. Really nice. So the hustle about the five or three only is uh, body only, right? It's not with the lens. Yeah. Without okay. The okay. Lens. Okay. Yeah, okay. Key. Okay. Yeah, like th this one. Yes, that's yeah, where it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and you have a GF670. Yeah, that. Yes, yeah. yeah. I have that one. Oh, I love it. Yeah. We also have the new Hasselblad X2D. Ah, that's the X2D. Yes. Okay, interesting. It's only been, I think, fired less than a thousand shots. Yes. Yeah. Ah, so it's pre owned already? Pre owned. This oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's out since a month or something? Yes, a month. Yeah. Wow. About slightly over a month. Yes. Yeah, customer used it yes. for project. Ah, okay, then, then so, so, okay, yeah, okay. He, he's Looking at the price, I'm not sure if a lens is included because it's more than the body costs brand new. So there's more here. 28 um, Elmerit for 900. Not bad. So just have a look for yourself. So I would say um, there are some pretty good deals here. Um, it's too much to show. It's already too much for myself to take in. But yeah, man, it's a lovely place. Also, oh man, I love this camera. Oh, they also have MS optics oh, lenses here. It's just, just so you can see here the f1.1 17mm 4.5 light lens. Okay, nice. All right, guys, this was the first shop, um, and the, the owner was really nice. I was chatting, uh, we were chatting for a little bit, and I picked up some film. Uh, 400D, which is pretty much uh, the same as, I guess, the new uh, Sinister 400D. This is also C41, it's um, from China, Vision 3, of course. So, yeah, I'm going to shoot that, um, probably in, maybe in the next few days. Let's give it a try. So, yeah, they had some really cool cameras in there, and I think uh, the owner was super nice. Um, we were chatting for a little bit, and um, yeah, very knowledgeable. Really nice stock and some good deals. I was really surprised to see that, especially the monochrome stood out. Uh, but also some other cameras were really, really nice. So 
if you ever had the chance, come in here, check it out. So yeah, let's hop into the next shop. Man, this takes way longer than expected. So let's check out the next shop. All right, guys, there is the next shop, but it looks like it's closed. Unfortunately, oh no, it's a black market camera. Oh, it's too bad. Okay, so maybe you can uh, just see for yourself uh, some ammo glass here. Um, Portlander um, 35F 1.2, it's 1099. And also there's a bunch of cameras here. Uh, Konica 3, it's, one, it's 399 uh, with a 48 F2 lens. So I've never seen that camera to be honest, but uh Canonet, uh it's 199. There's another one 199. They are all pretty much like 199. I think that's not too bad. Oh, Remember these Lomography Pets for lenses, uh, 1000, this one's 999, it's the 85, and the uh, 58 is uh, 1238. Uh, okay, what do we have here? Yashica Electra, unfortunately no price for that. Man, it's so small. Canon F1 399. Oh, it's probably hard to see with the reflections. So Canon uh, FD5014 is 199. Another one for 249. Ah, uh, here we got a Nikon. All right, a Nikon FM 299, FM2 Titanium 799. Oh man, that thing is so beautiful. A Nikon FE, a black one, a 349. A lot of Nikon glass here. Oh my God. So Nikon um, 28F2.8 is 499. Another one for 499. So and by the way, uh, I didn't tell you about the film that I bought before, uh, the 400D. So it's I I think I paid 16 um, Singapore dollars for it. So it's maybe 11 or 12 euros. US dollars around that. Uh, it's not too bad if you consider what uh, the price is for Sinister because it's pretty much the same thing. So for the price, it's all right. So, and he told me that the margin, the profit margin on those films is pretty much non-existent, especially if people pay with card. There's not nothing in it for him. So yeah, that's the situation right now. So small shops like this, they don't make pretty much no money on film whatsoever. Um, man. <laughs> Film prices are steep. <laughs> we have another camera shop. Uh, some more like stuff here. Uh, it's a black M3 for 3,800, but I don't. Th it's not black paint, so yeah, it's not original. But it still looks nice. Uh, there's a. 35 Stumlux FLE for 6800 and what else do we got here? Some Canon stuff, a Rolleiflex 75 3.5 for 1380 Oh, Hasselblad SWC, nice, for 2600 oh, That one's beautiful. 
and there's more uh, medium format down here. It's an RB67 uh, for 1080. And a Bronica. Oh, I've never seen this one. Uh, this is 1280 with the lens, it seems like. Uh, it's a ETR uh, whatever. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Some nice stuff here. Ah, and also there's the Hasselblad back, uh, the 645. Uh, it's 530. Oh. Wow, that's. I had no idea that the back, uh, the 645 back for the Hasselblad is that expensive. Because I was considering buying one. Uh, if it's really inexpensive, I might not, because then I'd rather shoot 6x6. So, I found another shop, just follow me. Oh man, that's a baller context RTS, 1900. <laughs> it's probably not a wise idea to shoot with this, um, so I don't too much in your face. And there's a Pentax 6.7 uh, for 1200, including the 55 f4, uh, 6.45 body with a 80 to 160 lens. That's 1100. Um, yeah, man, it's not easy to shoot through the glass here. And there's more medium format goodness here. There's a, a Mamiya 645 for 850, including the lens. It's a, what is it? Uh, 150 3.5. And there's the Mamiya Pro TL 645, including the 80 for 950. Phase one, another phase one. And there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, a Pentacon 6 for. What, 600, a Kiev, including uh, 88, including the 80 mil, 950. Not bad. So yeah, there's uh, a lot of medium format uh, stuff in this shop, but also this one is closed, unfortunately. Let's see if we can find another one. So this one is now open. It's uh, the camera workshop. And they have film, they have um, Fuji, uh, Fuji Color 100 for 16, Premium uh, Superior 400 for, one th for 1950. So I'd much rather get this one instead of the Fuji Color 100, to be honest. And Actros 100 for 18. So yeah, that's pretty steep, but could be worse. Um, Alright guys, that's it for the first part of the video. Um, what I really like is that there's many shops here and also they display all the prices in the window So on display. So it's really nice. So you know roughly what it is, what the price is. Some other places you have to ask and you, you can never be sure if they give you some tourist prices. So here it's more transparent and I think you can probably get a better deal if you ask. But yeah, other than that, uh, it's really nice and I was, I was really surprised how many people in the city recognized me it happens everywhere pretty much but here especially here it's uh way more than in some other places so yeah uh, tomorrow i'm going to check out um this other place uh which is apparently really good because they have good um uh, good film prices and also good cameras so let's check it out tomorrow so i will film another video but because uh, of the beauty of the internet we will see each other shortly in a few seconds all right talk to you tomorrow because Christmas is coming up, I have a 20% sale on all my street photography zines and also my color profiles for Lightroom. The sale lasts until December 18th and the link to my shop is in the video description. Alright guys, this is the place I came here for, I traveled almost across the whole city because I've heard they have the best prices for films and also developing so it better be worth it so 
let's check it out. Right. So in terms of cameras, it's not that much. <laughs> oh, you know, it has the smell of a of a lab. <laughs> Pretty cool. So let's see what the film process are here and also how much developing this. So how much is developing? Um, color C41. Twelve dollars. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, twelve, including scan. Yes, including scan. Oh, okay. Okay. So twelve dollars for one, one roll. And black and white is seventeen. So, uh, in terms of cameras, no, not that much. Um, developing uh, 12 Singapore dollars for a roll, including scans, one to two work days. Uh, this is maybe around 8, 50 US dollars, something. It's not too bad. Uh, unfortunately, they did not take my MasterCard, so I could not buy film. But uh, Fuji Color 100, uh, which I thought it's discontinued, but apparently it's not. So it was... Uh, uh, 12 dollars a roll and uh actor 100 was 1950. so that's pretty expensive but that's the same price i would pay in uh over in germany or in europe but yeah all right uh in terms of films they had a good selection they had triax hp5 uh some chinese um uh, respools vision 3 films and besides that also they had some some other cool films um, Portra 160, so that was the first time I saw Portra here. Um, so yeah, I think for films and developing, it seems to be good. Our price is really good for developing. So I think if you are coming here to buy film, this might be a good spot to go. Or if you want to get developing. For camera shopping, probably better places than this. So I think I will head back down to the shopping mall. I was yesterday and fingers crossed this one camera shop that, uh, that was closed yesterday, it's open today. So. Let's check it out. All right, I'm back at the mall here. So let's see if the place is open today. Maybe we can get a little bit more lucky today. Let's check it out. It looks like it's closed again. Oh, what the hell? Of course, I had to try a third time the next day. It was closed again. When I told this a local photographer, he laughed and said, you surely got the full black market camera experience. Well, I think I give up. Uh, there are three times closed, whatever. All right, guys, I just came back from a uh, rice ball camera and I did not buy a new camera, but I bought something. Um, I bought a new Billingham bag. So a new Hadley Pro 2020, I think. Uh, looks really nice. So because mine already looks a bit messed up, so it's uh, six or seven years old by now. So I got a pretty good deal on this one, so I couldn't resist. So I picked up a new camera bag. Uh, if you ever have the chance uh, and you're here in, in Singapore, go to Rice Boat Camera. Um, really lovely chap really good stock in there and yeah it was nice just having a chat i mean really really nice so i think in general when it comes to camera shopping here in singapore i think there's a good selection of camera shops here there's a lot of labs here and there's places where you can find film for a decent price not cheap though because film is nowhere cheap so also not here but the price is decent um so if you ever come here want to shoot film don't worry you'll be covered here so and if you want to buy cameras, you will find something 100%. A lot of Leica gear, a lot of whatever. I think you can pretty much find everything here. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, if you like this episode, as always, uh, give a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.